Nutrition Intervention Prescription This module is based on the Electronic Nutrition Care Process Terminology 2015 edition and is prepared by the Nutrition Care Process team, a joint project of the Nutrition Care Process and Terminology Committee, the NCPT Workgroup, and the NCPT staff. By the end of this module, the participant will understand the components of the nutrition assessment data along with the nutrition diagnosis statement or PES statement that are needed for determining the nutrition prescription and understand the process of developing the nutrition prescription. In the nutrition intervention step, the nutrition prescription is determined using the assessment data, the PES statement, current evidence, policies and procedures, and the patient client values and preferences. The nutrition prescription provides the context in which the nutrition intervention is implemented. We will review again the critical thinking steps that are needed for planning and implementing nutrition intervention. The RDN must be able to set goals and prioritize information, define the nutrition prescription or basic plan, the RDN must be able to make interdisciplinary connections with a variety of professionals in and related to healthcare. Implement counseling skills in order to initiate behavioral and other nutrition interventions with the patient and or family members. Match nutrition intervention strategies with patient needs, the nutrition diagnosis, and values of the patient. Choose from among alternatives to determine a course of action. And finally, the nutrition and dietetics professional must also be able to specify the time and frequency of nutrition care. In a previous module discussing the PES statement, we talked about how the etiology drives the intervention. So when developing the PES statement, the RDN will choose the nutrition diagnosis that the nutrition and dietetics professional can most likely help the patient to resolve. If the etiology, or the root cause, is correct, then this information will directly correspond to the intervention. Selection of the nutrition prescription is based on the etiology portion of the PES statement and is aimed at resolving the underlying cause of the nutrition problem. Remember, earlier we indicated that if the etiology cannot be resolved, the focus of the nutrition prescription may be targeted at reducing or minimizing the signs and symptoms of the nutrition problem. Here we have an example of a PES statement discussed earlier in the module on PES statement development. Swallowing difficulty related to post-stroke complications as evidenced by results of swallowing test and reports of choking during meal times. In this instance, the nutrition prescription must focus on reducing or minimizing signs and symptoms because it is impossible to resolve the etiology of post-stroke complications. The nutrition prescription is based on the results of the swallowing test. The nutrition prescription will be either a texture modified diet or one of the liquid consistency diets. You can see here on this slide the corresponding alphanumeric codes for the nutrition intervention terms of interest. Let's look at a second PES statement example. Excessive energy intake related to unchanged dietary intake and restricted mobility while fracture heals, as evidenced by 5 pound weight gain during last three weeks due to patient report of consumption of 500 kilocalories per day more than estimated needs. In this PES statement, the RDN can focus on only a part of the etiology. While the RDN cannot change the issue of the restricted mobility and what has already happened with the unchanged dietary intake, the RDN can plan an intervention aimed at reducing the signs and symptoms by working with the patient to change the dietary intake going forward. For this patient, the nutrition intervention will be aimed at the etiology, unchanged dietary intake, and the signs and symptoms, reducing the 5-pound weight gain. The nutrition prescription is a decreased energy diet, 
and you can see the corresponding alphanumeric codes for this nutrition intervention term of interest. Now, as a reminder, this alphanumeric code is for your reference only and is not to be used in documentation. Here we have our third and final PES statement example and how to focus the nutrition prescription. Disordered eating pattern related to unsupported beliefs or attitudes about food or nutrition related topics as evidenced by reported use of laxative after meals and statements of calories are not absorbed when laxatives are used. In this PES statement, the RDN can focus on the etiology of unsupported beliefs about food and nutrition, and plan an intervention that will reduce the signs and symptoms of laxative use. For this patient, the nutrition intervention will be aimed at changing the etiology, unsupported belief about food and nutrition. The nutrition prescription will focus on cognitive behavioral therapy, and the RDN will consider the health belief model and trans-theoretical model stages of change to determine the content and timing of the intervention. In summary, the nutrition prescription development is based on the underlying cause of the nutrition problem in conjunction with the goals of the patient. And the nutrition prescription must be agreed upon by the RDN and the patient. And, if applicable, the caregiver. In the next module, we will discuss the nutrition prescription for the two case examples introduced in the nutrition assessment modules and the corresponding PES statements previously discussed in the nutrition diagnosis modules.